Good morning. This is a general love read for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And like, wow. Let me tell you. <laughs> this is one heck of a read, okay, Virgo? So, <laughs> without any further ado, let me just jump right into it. But you have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life right now, okay? What the worth waiting for a car is... Whatever situation um, that you want to get off the ground probably won't, you know, get off the ground when you want it to. This is all in God's time, okay? So divine timing, okay, is that working in your love life? So, you know, uh, it's not going to happen when you want it. Somebody's not going to come back when you want, okay? Or, you know, you're not going to get that job when you want. It's divine timing, okay, is here. Okay. So, your first card <laughs> was the nine of swords. So, your present energy is you're not sleeping well. You're having restless nights, anxiety, you know, staying up all night, you know, overthinking a situation, replaying a situation in your mind over and over and over and over. And you, it's, it's just not, you know, uh, helping you at all at this point. In particular time because you're 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 overthinking and constantly thinking about this uh six of pentacles um a situation where there wasn't an equal give and take okay um so or the merchant was given to two okay maybe you were given to two maybe the person you were connected to was given to two but this was a situation that somebody was getting their wishes fulfilled okay wish fulfillment being greedy okay so if you were already in a uh, stable relationship, okay, somebody was being greedy and giving to two. So somebody already had one person, like I said, this could have been a third party situation, okay, overindulging, okay, but there was a need for a balance, balance head and heart, there was a need to balance something out, there is a need to balance something out, head and heart, emotionally, okay, then you have the Empress card, okay, so, um, you know, desires or your known factors, it's that maybe some you got somebody pregnant when you were giving it to. Okay, somebody is pregnant. Okay, the Empress is a pregnant woman. Okay, Taurus, Libra energy. Okay, um, so somebody was giving it to, could be you, okay, Virgo, or the person you're connecting to. Um, but you know, which brought a baby in the world, which is heavy for you, okay. It's it's a burden now, okay. Now you're burdened, okay, and you know, a queen of swords is here, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, maybe, um, you're feeling like since there's a baby coming now, there's a missed opportunity with this queen of swords. Okay. The queen of swords, she don't take no mess. Okay. Or your wife could have been the queen of swords and she could have been asking you, Hey, what's going on here? Okay. What's this woman telling me that? Okay. Could be a Libra telling me that her, uh, you, uh, got somebody pregnant. <laughs> okay. The queen of swords, she definitely, she right at you. That's what she did. Okay. Um, but somebody's thinking about missing an opportunity with you. Okay. Because of this information and it's burdening you. Okay. Um, but you're ready to take action or take charge or go towards uh, balancing out a situation. Maybe with a Sagittarius or something. But um, this is the King of Wands is uh, he's a take charge type of energy. Okay. So. He is wanting to take charge on a situation that somebody's feeling like missing opportunity, maybe, uh, or missing this blessing. Maybe somebody wants, doesn't want to keep the baby. Okay. This is just, you know, real life stuff, you guys. Okay. So don't, don't shoot the messenger. Okay. I'm just reading what the cards say. <laughs> okay. And, um, you know, this probably got this King of Wands, you know, this, this very charismatic energy, okay, which could be you, okay, um, you know, the King of Wands gets what he wants, you know, he's very, you know, very good with his words, okay, he's well spoken, and, um, you know, he goes after what he wants, that's what he does, okay, and, and you're hitting, okay, Hidden factors here is the King of Pentacles, okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay. There is some type of addictions or some type of toxicity, okay, that you that is going on here in this relationship, 
this devil energy, maybe a lot of lust and passion. Okay, you probably have a very lustful mind, King of Pentacles energy. Okay, so King of Pentacles was clarified by the devil card. It could be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay, um, but Virgo, this is definitely some type of toxicity. Maybe somebody's addicted to being the King of Pentacles, being the person that's running the show, okay? Um, or you just feel have like a bond or a soul tie to another King of Pentacles, okay? Which could be a Capricorn, okay? Um, but you are um, probably getting, receiving messages from this King of Pentacles. Maybe this is a job offer, okay? Um, but you're receiving messages about working together, you know, with this King of Pentacles, like you all got all three, you guys, or however, yes, three of you guys work together here. Okay. Cause this is definitely a third party situation. Okay. Um, two masculine energies is here though. Okay. So maybe in this situation in particular, uh, the wife could have stepped out and got pregnant. Or the girlfriend, whatever the case may be. I don't know, Virgo, what's going on with your personal life. But um, somebody is definitely messaging you, you know, saying, hey, let's work together. Okay. Instead of, you know, let's all three of us work together. Okay. Third party situation. Okay. Um, and your obstacles is ending a cycle. Okay. This is an obstacle. Okay. Because something is over. Okay. Uh, and a new cycle is here or something is over. A cycle is over with the world card. Okay. You have ended a cycle with somebody already. Um, but you do want to have a brand new beginning or you, there is a brand new beginning here waiting for you with the star card, but you're feeling a little defeated. Okay. In your last relationship because somebody else got the person that you wanted. You understand? So it's like, it's going, this is hard for you to, you know, um, to get over, okay, the situation, okay, this situation, it's hard for you to close this cycle out and start something new because you're already feeling wounded, defeated, like, damn, like, I can't believe that, you know, this person wanted to win at all costs, basically, they just like, listen, I'm going to win this situation, whether you like it or not, okay, and that's probably your mentality, okay, but judgment is going to be called on that, okay, um, and it's going to happen pretty fast, somebody's going to come rushing into you, maybe a fire sign, but somebody is coming, going, be coming rushing in. This is this is a in and out energy as well. One night stand energy. Okay, so judgment probably is going to be called on this one night stand. It could have caused produced a baby. Okay, um, but somebody wanted to win at all costs. Okay, and have this new beginning with you. This is an obstacle. Okay, but the cycle was over. So yeah, Virgo. So I don't know if you slipped up. And got somebody pregnant by accident or, you know, this was a one night stand, you know, but judgment stepped in, you know, because maybe you already in a committed situation. Divine timing, you know, could be the baby being born. Okay. Moving right along. Now, and your out, um, the outcome. Okay. Uh, it's the six of pentacles. So equal give and take. Okay. Um, reciprocity I'm hearing, um, because somebody's going to take charge here. This emperor here, Taurus, Aries energy, okay? This emperor is going to take charge here um, to reunite with someone, okay? Um, that they feel as though is a soulmate, true love. But you're needing the strength right now to do that, okay? Two of Cups. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Leo, or Aries or a Taurus, okay? Um, Virgo. But this is basically you actually are going to get this equal give and take in the situation, okay? There will be equal give and take here at the end of the day, so don't worry, okay? Then you have getting to know each other. Um, on the bottom of my Romance Angel deck, it says getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And then on both of my clarif on my decks, um, at the bottom, it was both of them had the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So, you know, the Ten of Pentacles... Um, is security, stability, okay? So security and stability will, you know, money, all of that will be looking good. Everything will be looking up for you guys, okay? At the end of all of this turmoil and this toxic situation or 
whatever this addiction is, okay, everything will be balanced out eventually, okay? So I would just say have faith, okay, because the situation could definitely work out for you um, despite uh, what is going on. Um, you already know your personal situations. Um, so if this message doesn't resonate with you, you know, that's fine. Wait, wait for the next one. But this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, general love read. And I hope this resonated with you guys. Um, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, and share my videos. And I will talk to you later. Bye.